start by congratulation, congratulating um, Colgate on a, on a wonderful year and um, have a lot of respect for their coaching staff and their program. And, um, and you know, they, they played us tough at the start of each set. And I think, um, you, you know, our defensive pressure kind of mounted over time. Uh, I also think that we had a pretty good night offensively. And um, so, yeah, we're feeling good going into, into tomorrow. Coach, um, you started Cam Edison today at outside hitter. She's been playing a lot of setter this year. But um, what, we, what was one what of the decisions you made? Well, we're, we're um, you know, you know it's, it's the end of the year. And we're, like a lot of people, dealing with uh, you know, some kids that are banged up. And so we're trying to make sure we're keeping our kids as fresh as we can. Um, and and you know, Cam came here to be an outside hitter. <laughs> That's how we, why we recruited her. You can see she's got a great arm, um, and she was a team player when we asked her to set early on in the season. And um, but she's very versatile, so we we like our team with her or with uh, Juliana on the court. Larry, um, that you guys were back back and forth, nine to nine in the first set, and you you all seemed to respond every time they responded. But then you went, you all went on a nine one set. What were nine one run? What happened? What were you guys? What was your mentality during that that back and forth? And then when things broke open, um, can you explain? I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> they were back and forth with you guys for yeah. a while, but then you you all went on a on a nine one run uh, to break open the game in the in the first set. Uh, what was what was the mentality when you guys were you know trying to break three break free there? Um, I think we were just like um, putting pressure on them, um, like we we said like offensively and defensively. And I think we were just thinking about the next point. So, yeah. Larry, you had seven of your 13 kills in the first set. What was working so well for you in that first set? Honestly, I was just, I felt good. I was hitting, like, I felt good. The sets were pretty good. So I was just going for it. <laughs> Larry, is there anything you've been doing different the last few weeks? Obviously, you've been kind of killing it a little bit. So I was just wondering if it's anything mentality-wise or yeah. if you've changed up anything. Yet. Yeah, definitely my self-talk um, has gotten better, I think, um, from last year to this year. And then over the past um, couple weeks, um, just my uh, self-talk has definitely improved. Um, not focusing on my past errors, but like how can I, what can I do to improve on the next ball, so yeah. Coach, just seeing Valerius rise down the stretch this season, it feels very similar to like Lecator's rise down mm -hmm. the stretch last year. Um, what does it mean to have players like getting hot at the right time, like towards turn? Yeah, like, I think the, the the two players sitting next to me have been in a nice groove lately, and that's you know that's what we want. We want our players peaking at the end of the season, and um, and uh, for Valeria, you know we've you know. We've seen it, you know, all year long in the practice gym, and so it's, it definitely feels good to watch her, you know, doing it in the game and, and at the right time of the season. Courtney, uh, you've been a top scorer for this team for a lot this year. What did it feel like seeing Valeria going off, and especially in that first set? Oh, it's great. I mean, it gives me the confidence to know that um, I can keep swinging and being aggressive, and then um, if I don't have my best game or um, – I'm not producing as well as I have been in the past. I know I have that confidence in my teammates too. Um, for Rachel to set Valeria, or the other, the other girls that they're gonna put the ball away. Courtney, Rachel had 23 assists and Lexus had 14. Mm -hmm. I mean, when those two are going and, and they're clicking, how much easier does that make things for you up front? I mean, it's I have one and a half blocks most of the time. Um, there's not a lot of times where I have a. Uh, commit to blockers up on me and that's contributing to Rachel and Serena and Chia in the middle mm -hmm. and Valeria on the outside that most defenses don't know who we're going to set and so um, having one-on-one -on -one is pretty nice most of the time. <laughs> Coach what can you say about those two as well because it, for these two and then Serena had a couple that were just mm -hmm. right on top of the net and just easy kills I mean what about those efforts in setting up those front that front line? Uh, you know this is the the best setting team I think we've ever had you know Cam's a very good setter you know Courtney set for two years at at Iowa so we just uh, we feel like um, that's a strength of this team and and right now we feel also like our setters are peaking at the right time it's for both players Courtney I'll start with you you get BYU next round I know earlier in the season you guys went out to Provo and played them I mean 
maybe just from looking at them from a distance, what what do you see from them as a team compared to what you saw then versus maybe what you're going to see now? Or, you know, what do you what do you think of that matchup? Yeah, um, I think, I mean, at the end of the year, we played them second weekend. So I think they've grown a lot as a team and uh, confidence and coming out of their conference. And um, so their things are clicking for them for sure. And they have a couple new girls in the lineup, and so do we. So I think it's going to be a completely different game. Obviously, same teams, but um, different personnel on the court, and it's definitely going to be a battle. So Blair, anything about. to add? Uh, yeah, following off um, what Courtney said, yeah, they're a different team, but so are we. Um, we're just excited to play um, at home. So, yeah. <laughs> what does Serena do for you all in the energy? She had those three straight aces in, in, the, in the third set, and it just seemed like – Every t- uh, so many times that she made a play, I mean, all you guys were very explosive and, and excited, but she seemed to have a lot of energy today. Uh, yeah, I think Serena's kind of our little spark plug. Um, she's definitely the um, person that takes takes ownership of being the person that's just super fiery um, on the court. Obviously, her athleticism is unmatched, and um, you could see that in every play. But then um, celebrating, she's definitely that person that's taking that charge in that leadership in that role. Coach, um, coming in, you know, on Wednesday you said that uh, Colgate has a two-setter offense with three front row hitters. Um, what were you looking from your players today to undo their offense? What was the game plan coming in? Well, we, you know, we've, we wanted to, you know, start out by affecting them, you know, with our serve. And I, I didn't think we did as well of a job of that. They, they passed pretty well out of the gates. Um, but then just, uh, you know, by rotation, we had some assignments. And, and then when we got them off the net, we wanted to have a well-formed double block and be just relentless on defense. So, and, I, and, and, you know, we held them to a decent clip. And so never totally satisfied, but it was, it was good. With regard to your team hitting 381 today, it's pretty good hitting percentage as a team overall. Yeah, uh, it was, I would say so. Is Juliana doing all right? She didn't play today. Um, you were talking about injuries. Yeah, she she, she is. Uh, I won't comment on her status other than say she's cleared to play and she'll and she was available tonight and she will be tomorrow. Valera, the other day when we talked to Ashley, she kind of mentioned when you guys found out you were a two seed in this tournament and not a one, mm-hmm. that you had some choice words, some rallying words about if you're not motivated by this, you know, being slighted, not being a one, then you know, what are you even doing here? Those are her words, not mine. <laughs> so I mean. Is there some motivation factor to this team to, you know, play up to that competition, to play like you're a true one seed in this tournament? Yeah, I think, like, uh, my mentality and, like, our girls' mentalities, like, it doesn't matter if you were, like, number one, number two, number six. Like, like it's going to be a hard, like, path to, like, win the national championship. And um, that's playing, like, good teams is going to prepare us to, um, compared to other teams that are playing, like, um, not as a as a tough um, schedule as we are, so yeah, just um, it doesn't matter what ranking we are, just like yeah. For both the players and Valeria, start with you. Um, the crowd was unbelievable tonight, very loud. Just what are you guys' thoughts on this crowd and the noise they were able to make? Yeah, um, uh, over the past couple of years, and they've been like very um, helpful. And we feel them, they like help our vibe too. So yeah, we we thank them and we love our crowd, yeah. Yeah, I think definitely being in the peat, it's different. Um, The field house is a lot smaller, so the Mm -hmm. 2,500 would have felt really um, loud in the field house, but it felt just as loud in here and um, happy about that. And I'm sure it's gonna be even louder tomorrow night. Also added, I, the, the last time we were in here was the students were gone, and I, there was a way better student showing tonight. So, come back again, please, students. <laughs> we need you tomorrow. Yes. On a Saturday, no less. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just have, um, Coach kind of noticed Emmy played a really, really solid game in the mm-hmm. back row today. Um, how have you noticed her development over the course of the season? Because it seemed like she was really thrown into the fire almost last year. Yeah, she's, well. We think she's got a, a chance to be the best libero we've ever had. You know, when it's all said and done, she's, um, you know, she's she's been our best passer all year. Uh, she was a little behind Ashley as a defender and setter and all around play, but she's worked on that. Um, and you know, it's uh, she has a calming presence, and I just but just uh, has really been passing at a really elite level, and um, and she's ready. You know, she's not. She's not going to be phased by the moment.